late game state where they could potentially win. But guys, we are ready. Let's hop into the rift. The second Sylvie shows up, makes it a little bit more complicated. Andal's getting pretty low, doesn't have Flash himself as the dive isn't quite working out. They treat here as now Tayun's under the turret. As Sylvie gonna steal the Alistair and immediately use it against them. You're really not in a great spot to fight this one, but they feel indexed into it. So here we go. Bulldog taking more damage from Poppy than he's doing. As the Magnet Storm coming on in, big knock up, and there you go. Everybody's just seen the meat grinder as the Azir just knocks everybody up. Nobody can move around, and the Kaisa not a factor in this fight. Sylvie and Dundon have ults here to, to force this fight with an Emperor's Divide. Uh, or Heartbreaker over the wall, and now another big Wombo combo. They keep him at arm's length, but Bulldog is getting a lot of value in this one. Does get in that back line. Here's Taeyun as well. As so many Nomsha members getting super low, Sylvie finally gets one reset as he does go into the Akali. Ults are down in a lot of places. Big Wombo combo in the pit as Ju has to go into Featherstorm here, but he does not get close enough to the wall to flash away, so a nice pick here from Kwangam Freaks. Ooh, so Create some additional space here, and no one is answering her. She has TP. Stun is in. They do catch Young Jay. That is a big magnet storm onto the front line only, though, as Taeyun is going to survive in the backside. Sylvie nearly dies. In goes Taeyun. As Flash now on top of him, he gets knocked up and immediately dies. So that's just your Kaisa gone, and that's the sweep on a Bulldog. This is a big fight in favor of Nongshim. They take down three members. Fight even uh, just using magnet storm onto three tanks in the front line of Quantum Freaks just to get it started and push them away. As now, gonna take down the Mountain Drake. It looks like Quantum Freaks do want to take a fight here as Bulldog losing to Fiesta, although he nearly does take out his health bar. The Flash comes in and uh, yeah, Bulldog still gonna go down. Counter to his ear, by the way. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, here we go once again as uh, it does look like Peter's getting pretty deep into that one and uh, by Peter, I meant Fiesta. He's going to get bopped into the turret. Kind of an unfortunate angle. Um, last, like I said, not perfect by any last, means. Last <laughs> good as well. Nice follow-up here from Anvil. Looking to go on the chase. Has his ultimate. Dindin, Dindin just going to knock away the Sejuani, and that's going to be an up team. Just doesn't quite have the damage yet, especially against the tankier members of Nongshim. And down he will go. No escape for him. Double kill now for the Zaya. 100 to 0. Oh, who could have seen that coming, Wolf? Um, yeah, now they're diving into the turrets, and uh, Nongshim look pretty primed and ready to take down this game. Yeah, he's got no and Void Staff. Yeah, I mean, he has the Sword Boots, he has the Rocket Belt. Yeah, sure, but I mean, there's three Mountain Drakes <laughs> at this point, so. Now we get a very nice big magnet storm as it looks like the guys on Kwangdom Freaks not quite there to support as down will go the cow. That is the double knockup. Very nicely done by Dudu as now just going to get a nice big scoop to the turrets here. As at about 35 minutes, looks like Nogshin might just be able to do it as there's the stasis again, just desperately trying to kill the wave here. But down he will go, down will go the turrets in a valiant effort, but it is not enough. This is 1-0 to zero for Nogshin. Very impressive stuff. Extremely one-sided game, our third of the night in a row. And with Nongshim looking really good here, it certainly helps. Uh, guys, we are ready to jump onto the rift here for game number two. Let's do it. Negative tree here is now flash on in. Crash down is there. Peter will survive, though, and the Ignite is there on the Andil as Jiwoo trying desperately to peel for him, but will oh, not be enough. The Ignite stealing the kill as well, but still lots of money picked up here for Kwangdong Freaks. In this game now. Uh, but Dudu is ahead by five. Speak for yourself. I was trying to look away. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvie going to get uh, bounced on by many different things here. No saving him. Fiesta even going to have to flash away. Nice setup here on the gang from Kwangdom Freaks in mid. This is always the angle you're looking for as he just walks out of it and stuns the Tristana. Fiesta, though, still taking a bunch of damage. Flash on in. Ult comes. And Fiesta lives. The Cyclone follow-up is huge as that will be the kill coming into Sylvie's pockets as Bulldog gets to stick to the back as well. Does challenge him again, another Q. And oh, in live. Fight down in bottom side, double Kraken Slayer. Who wins this? It is the Aphelios U. Uh, not having Peter there on time, as the timing there not quite that good. And now Peter's almost definitely dead. As here's the Sejuani coming on down. And we'll probably just hand this kill over to Bulldog. Although at this point, looks like Peter will just give it to the Sejuani instead. Yep. Happy to make sure that it's not the Tristana that picks this one up as Bulldog is just going to says I've got enough damage I just want to never die and if you just stack armor in this comp you will probably never die 
Yeah, Sejuani is not doing enough AP as that's going to be the end of Teyu and everybody flashes on in. Again, this comp, very easy. You flash R, you find someone, you press your buttons on them. And that's exactly what they're doing. They find the most important member, which is the Aphelios, and it will be the flash as well from Young Jay. Yeah. Well, due to, uh, you know, Bros and Piss is putting on some pressure there in that one as the blue buffs might it away by Sylvie. Going to pick that up. And speaking of the dive, this is Dundun, Dun, who is quite tanky, but still might be in some trouble. As, yep, just doesn't have the help, and everybody's just going to gang up on him. Takes about seven bajillion years, but uh, that's in part because they're trying to give the kill over to Bulldog. And yeah, nice collection there for the Tristana now. This is, oh, look at that. Look at Sylvie on the minimap. He's way behind, and Teyu just dies before he's even there. Don't even need the Wukong. As now getting into that backline, Teyu went a little bit too deep onto this Cassante. The knock I'm not going to get there onto Sylvie. As now they have gone so far deep into this one. Sylvie going to get taken out by the second AD carry in this composition of Quagnum Freaks. Another kill into their pockets on the Rakan. Uh, go all the in onto the Dindin Din Mountain as Tan is way in the back. Big Magnet Storm, but again, Bulldog is in the fray. This is going to get burst down as Dusante now is the front line. He's doing the majority of the damage in this fight, actually. Fiesta will have to trade his life as well as they finally get through the Malphite and the Annie as a bonus kill. Interesting way to approach that one, but... Sylvie's still alive. Yeah, he does not have flash, though, so getting onto this one's going to cost him his life. Yeah, now he's spotted. Yep, they're just going to take him over the wall. That's going to be the end of him, as now the crash down. Yeah, he's just zoned away, so... Also will go down. Nicely done from Guangdong to secure the objective. From catches the front line. That should do it. The big Wombo combo for Guangdong is going to be good enough. Triple kill comes through. They will take away the Penta. No Penta for you tonight, Taeyun. As the inhibitor will go down. And with the Baron buff, they should be able to push end to end. Jiu's trying to make it interesting here, but let's see. He's going to go down. <laughs> down he goes, and uh, that'll be the Quadra for Tune at least, as the Penta will be denied. And the Nexus falls, we will have a game three. Felt like it was really the breaking point for this team, and after that, and it move towards those playoffs. With the Ignite ticking, one more auto would do it. The flash forward gets it. First blood for Fiesta on the Annie. You want to you wanna try to help out the Renekton. It's one of the big ways you can get him through the lane. Yep. Not have Suppose he thinks he is probably going to get subsequently dove a second time now that he doesn't have cleanse, but... But currently the item uh, diff for the supports is actually pretty big in favor of Peter. He has boots and a ruby crystal uh, compared to nothing. As here comes Fiesta, a little jump scare once again this time as Bulldog looks to be going down to the airy actually. As our buttons press in the bottom side, Blade Caller, is it available is the real question. Yes, it is. Andil. Gonna flash away from that one. Yeah, so flash down again. Uh -oh. Dudu. Uh oh. Dudu does have his flash, though. They will back off of this as the wall. Coming down. Bulldog looking for a little bit more. Trying to get on top of Fiesta. Flash over as once again Poppy is there, but can't stop the Heartbreaker. Now the stunts are coming down. Another Heartbreaker as Dundon and Sylvie will break the hearts of Kwangdom Freak. It's just a non-stop uh, skill check, rather, here as he will be forced to flash. Oh, boy. It's just a skill check game, you know? The Core Drinker very difficult to get a huge amount of value on, um, unless they're diving you topside. <laughs> yeah, turns out that's happened more than once, as Andil is uh, just dead. Tries to go in, tries to make a play, and then eventually he just gets CC'd to death. That can't happen against Ira Khan. As very nice dodge there with the Feather Storm. Flash on in. Bulldog in a lot of trouble. Has to flash away. As teleports, two teleports come in here from the side of Gnome Shim. Maybe a couple too many, but the flash over the Keeper's Verdict will at least net them a bonus kill and trade for the two teleports. Meanwhile, in mid, we have these two battling it out as the Rift Herald seemingly getting some decent value. Maybe a bit over aggressive this time around. You know, the calculations were pretty close, as Dudu, please be careful. Uh, okay, nice fault. And it nets him a kill, but there are three people in the bottom lane, and Young Jay's in the enemy jungle while the mid lane is being pushed. Bulldog, and no Bulldog. flash. Ooh, nice stopwatch. Will he survive is the question. The stun not going to land, but the Heartbreaker is enough. Fiesta tanks it up very nicely, and that's a successful dive, plus the mid inner turret. Yeah. This is going to be the bottom turret going down here, so it's not all for nothing. You did slow down the Renekton a little bit, but definitely know who I favor in this trade. Trying to dive topside here. Dindon, again, 
No flash, but he does have Dominus. Can be pretty rough. Jiu is just taking a turret as does look like Dindin is in a lot of trouble. They use all five members to come up here and get this kill. All right. Nice on of the Rakan, but can it stop this one? Teo nearly dies as actually he might to the Timbers, and yes, he will. Gets his Moonlight Vigil off, and Young Jay also super low as Jiu is just taking names, flashing over the wall, gets a double kill as the engage comes through for Nong Sim. Here we we'll go. see what they do. Wall's gonna come down, and Dindin already a bit caught by the Quinn, tries to go in, gets knocked back by the seismic shove. They collapse on this Quinn and say, we'll take Hextech Soul, we don't care about Baron, bye-bye. Uh, he missed the stun? Might not matter, it's gonna force the flash here, as now follow-up from Dindin is enough, and the timing of this could not be worse. Could not actually be worse, as, uh, we are going to have the ult come out here from uh, the Poppy, but now Teyun is going to get caught up as the Heartbreaker will slow him down. He doesn't have Flash. He does not have Cleanse. And that will be the Hextech Soul, or the Baron, or both. Given over to the Nongshu. How about or just the, the Inhibitor? Well, this is dying. What is happening? Well. What is this? Well. Uh, Why is Dindin even there? <laughs> well, he was pushing mid to make sure they couldn't deny the Teleport okay. from Fiesta. All right. And uh, got then the Baron. Andil was there, and now... Yeah, Ong Shim knocking on the door of victory. Yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty much all it, all there is to it. <laughs> to use like, I'm just gonna press my button, guys. I, I'm, not, I'm not messing around with this one, I'm hungry. Uh, let's take down the turret, says, yeah, that's gonna be the end of Tayun as well, no summoners. Not able to cleanse out of that one, and that should do it, 32 minutes. Nong Shim gonna take the 2-1 victory tonight and keep their playoff chances alive. General was pretty consistent. Yeah. Um.